All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have another watch from Boulder Supply Company. I want to thank Boulder for getting this watch out to the channel and including me in the watch tour. I think I'm the last guy on the watch tour. This has been to uh, Scott at Watches Galore. Time to go travel in time pieces. Bob looked at it out there. Um, Chris at Marshall Time also checked it out. And so now here it's here on the OFD channel. So let's check this one out. Guys, I want to show you first the really cool box these things come in. It's kind of, I think it's a waterproof box, I do believe. It's got a watertight seal, and I do believe this is for indicating moisture possibly inside the box. It's got a little uh, release valve here, pressure release valve. So let's go ahead and get the box open and check out the watch inside. So this is one of the newest ones from the Venture series. I've looked at a few of the Venture series here on the channel, and they're really one of my favorite watches from uh, Boulder, just because they're such a neat, lightweight, functional watch that can really get anything done. I'm going to go ahead and screw the crown down. You guys will notice the screw down crown, get the time going on this one. Now, you will notice that there's no independent second hand on this watch. This has a 24 dial over here at the 3 o'clock position, and you have your 60-minute um, count for your chronograph functionality on the watch, which I'll show you here in just a second. You also have a date window down here at 6 o'clock. This watch is running the SII, or the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz Movement. Really cool movement because they have their, their quartz movement, but they combine a little bit of mechanical functionality that give the chronograph function a more mechanical feel. I'll go ahead and get it started here. Has a nice crisp... Uh, push to that pusher up there at the top. I'm going to bring it a little closer so we can check out the dial on this. Now this is the Field Medic and the idea behind the Field Medic is these are designed with the pandemic pandemic and everything going on. These are kind of designed for medic personnel um, used for uh, taking heart rates and also for doing respiratory measurements for breathing per minute. So that's what the chronograph is kind of set up for. Um, in the instructions, they do explain to you how to use that. I don't want to get into the functionality of how to use that chronograph function, but it's a really neat one. Pulse meters are not uncommon. There's quite a few out there um, in the world, and they've been around for quite a long time for doctors and medics to use. So go ahead and get it stopped here. And look, show you snap back. And that's that gives it that mechanical feel with that snap back. And also just the feel of the pushers themselves is really, really nice. Now, uh, like I said, with the VK64 quartz, you get a uh, date window down there at the 6 o'clock. You get a 24-hour dial over here at 3 o'clock. And then again, this is going to count your minutes for that um, chronograph functionality. The case on the watch is actually... Um, Go ahead and get this focus back out. The case on the watch is actually a high-grade titanium, which is really nice also for the medical industry because titanium, as most of you probably know, is hypoallergenic. So it's not caused any skin reactions to anybody out there wearing it. And it also makes the watch very, very lightweight, especially on this NATO bracelet or strap that it comes on. Pretty standard NATO strap. I will note that the hardware on the strap is also titanium, which again carries over to that hypoallergenic um, you know, feel for the watch. So really nice case size, 38 millimeters from side to side, 44 lug tip to lug tip, comes in at 12.2 millimeters of thickness to the top of that flat uh, sapphire crystal, which does have AR coating in it. And yes, it is sapphire. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening. I will note on the side of the case here or on the side of the lugs, you have a uh, pierced lug so that you can do easy strap changes if you do decide to do so. The crown on the watch is signed with the Boulder logo there, which is really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and take the watch off the strap a little bit just to give you guys to show you guys the case back because boulders always do limited edition case backs on their watch and i don't think this one's any different yeah this has got the field medic case back on it so it's kind of got almost like a um, almost like a fingerprint look to it with that medic logo there which is a pretty cool deal and then you've got you can see the 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 pulse um kind of pulse right there in the middle of it lets you know on the back of the watch that you have the field medic chronograph sapphire crystal 200 meters water resistant so really with that 200 meters of water resistant it really makes this watch a kind of a do-it-all watch i mean at 200 meters you can i mean feasibly use this watch for scuba diving um, i will note to you it does have the screw down crown but if you are going to use a watch like this even snorkeling or swimming, you should not be playing with the pushers um, in the water. That's that, that's my understanding of most chronograph watches. It's it's it, playing with the pushes under pushers underwater could leave um, that entry of water into the watch. So let's go ahead and throw this watch on my seven inch wrist, and then get, guys stick around for the loom shot because their loom is really really neat on this one. All right, so there's the thirty eight millimeter um, field medic, the the venture. Uh, on my wrist. It feels really, really good. Uh, I actually like the feel of the strap on the watch. It adds a little more substance to it just because these titanium watches can be so, so lightweight, but really looks good there, especially next to that championship Dodgers blue color there. So let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the loom on this one. 
All right, so always a good sign when I dim the lights and the watch is already glowing. I mean, this hasn't even been hit by any flashlight. The studio lights were on it, but no flashlight yet. So let's check this one out. Really cool loom on this one. What I like about it is they've loomed the entire pulse, uh, the pulse meter basically, or the graduated um, for the 30 pulsations. They've They've made that loom because, you know, if you're in a medic situation or you needed to use this and maybe maybe you're out in the field or something like that, like it's called the field medic, you want the watch to glow so you can actually take that reading under low light conditions. So that's giving you the ability to do that by looming up the, um, the track there. So that's a pretty cool feature and function. One of the things I didn't mention in the main part of the review is the price. These are going for $299 at the Boulder website. I do believe that if you go over there and give them your email, you can possibly get a $30 discount. I noticed that popped up on my feed when I was looking at their website. So definitely cool. Good watch, $299 or $269 if you can find that $30 coupon out there. So, all right, guys, give me a thumbs up at the bottom if you like the video. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks, guys.